so you can create the HFM application. So the application profile is required when you want to create the HFM application. These three things will be available in your application profile only. So before creating the HFM application, make sure that your application profile is ready or not. So one more thing that you need to remember here, one application, one HFM application will be having one application profile only. So you need to make sure your number of years that you are going to be used in HFM application and the period hierarchy structure and how many view, view members that you are going to use. Everything you need to make sure and you need to attach this application profile to HFM application. But this application profile can be attached to multiple HFM applications. But one HFM application is having only one application profile only. But here another point in 11.122 onwards I guess there is a concept of year upgrade. In previous versions we don't have the chance to increase the number of years. Means say for example your application has been started 2002 or something else. You said at the time the application would require only 10 years. That means your application would be completed 2012. Thereafter if you want to go for any a next year that at that moment in old version that it requires to create the new applications with the number of years to be increased and need to be copy the data from source to target over there. But here in latest version we have the utility like called as year upgrade utility. Year upgrade utility is there. So once your number of years completed in your application by using the year upgrade utility you can enhance your year, one more year or two more years, how many years that you would require, you can enhance your application. Okay, this is the concept of application profile, why we are using means, when you create the HF application, you need to attach this application profile. We can see that one later part. So, coming to ICP and value dimension, what is the use of ICP dimension, what is the use of value dimension? These two members that we can call them as system defined members. These members are that we, we can call them as system defined members. So we are not defining anything for these dimensions. System automatically gets created the gets created ICP and value dimensions. So how I can say in later part when you can create the val main no, metadata at that time we can see. But the functionality why we are using ICP and why we are using value dimension we'll see. ICP in the sense intercompany partner dimension. Here in the sense intercompany partner dimension in the sense say for example business scenario let us take here the business scenario how it is going to be happen. X organization is there. In this X organization we have X1 and X2 are the children. X is organization and X1 X2 are the children of this organization. When you do any transaction in between these two, any transaction happening happening in these two entities or in two uh, entities or call centers or department, those transactions are happening within the group of company of X. So when the user, when the entity sold out any product to the outside the customer like uh, Z, then only the organization group of company will create some profit on this product. But when you do the transaction X1 to X2 or X2 to X1, these are all not real profits to the X group of companies. So what we need to do is we need to eliminate those transactions at the time of consolidation reports. When you run the consolidation reports at the at X group of company, you need to the eliminate the transaction within the organization. There might be X1 to X3 or X4 entities are there, multiple entities are there. If there is any transaction that is happening X1 to X2, X1 to X3, X1 to X4, these are all intercompany entities, intercompany inter entities, not inter, intercompany entities within the organization. So you need to eliminate those transactions at the time of consolidation. 
so for that purpose business has given I mean hfm has given uh, one more dimension that is icp so this is system defined dimension why i am saying system defined member means we are not going to design or construct the icp dimension by doing some parameters enable or disabling the things system automatically gets created the icp dimension we can see later part when we can when i am explaining the metadata properties okay so the functionality why we are using icp dimension uh, that is the purpose and we can see at the time of uh, icp module what are the prerequisites to set up the icp module and everything coming to value dimension what is the use of value dimension value dimension basically we can call and we can use to store the currencies information to store the currency information but the thing is here apart from the currencies the most important and uh, it's playing a, a key role in hf application about value dimension so here the thing is it is having total 14 defined system system defined members that it is having it is saying about your total application information like what is the input meta what is translated data what is calculated data what is eliminated data what is proportion data what is contribution data so this these varieties of data that it is being populated in value dimension we can see this one at the time of consolidation so I will be explaining all these value dimension members at the time of consolidation okay so then next one is that's what we can call them as system defined so we are not going to build these uh, value dimension members it is automatically uh, I mean uh, when you defining the currency system automatically created the value dimension coming to scenario dimension that's what because most of the cases in real time we will have the chances to do the modification on these three dimensions only in these three dimensions also we can have only two dimensions that we have most of the enhancements changes that has come for only entity and account dimensions only and goes to first scenario dimension scenario dimension what is the use of scenario dimension scenario dimension it will be saying about the set of data whether it is actual data budget data or forecast data or historical data what kind of data that you are loading into HF application that will be giving the information in scenario dimension okay next one is entity dimension and account dimension basically whenever you can ask anyone ask me where the consolidation is being taken place in HFM application means it's none other than entity dimension only because of we are not writing any code to do the consolidation for HFM application so here the thing is whenever you construct you design the entity dimension hierarchy based on that your consolidation path will be created and consolidation will be triggered based on your entity structure that you define just a moment So the thing is here itself entity dimension how you are defining geographical United States California Connecticut like this when you load the data California and these base members the data will be rolled up into United States and geographical level so how you are designing this hierarchy structure based on the locations that are being maintained or businesses operated for your organization based on that you need to define your hierarchy structure based on that the consolidation path will be created and you can run the consolidation for those members
and next one is account dimension and is the most important one so these entities and these accounts that you are mapping with your chart of accounts of your base uh, source source systems so systems are nothing but as discussed in previous EBS, SAP FICO or uh, like uh, JD AdWords, MS Dynamics and so many I mean like uh, EBS systems that we have sorry not EBS systems ERP system that we have based on that you can find out your set of books first we can call them as set of books the concept of set of books is common for any source system set of books are consists of information about your cost centers or departments or business units and your chart of accounts so the chart of accounts and the cost centers that you need to map with your HFM entry dimension and account dimension whatever the changes that it has coming from your source system that you need to re-establish into your HFM application because of you are loading your trial balance data into HFM application only so simply what I am saying is whatever the changes that has come that has occurred into your source system that need to be reflected in your target systems. So we need to check with your chart of account controllers always. You need to be in touch with your chart of accounts controller and uh, need to be loaded everything into HF application. When you do the reconciliations, if, uh, we need to make sure everything has been loaded into HF application. Then only you can start and work on your HFM application. Okay. So these are the dimensions that we have and I will give the explanation about the custom dimensions right now bit of information and later later part we can see the more and what is the use of custom dimensions we are talking about custom dimension custom dimension we have eight standard dimension that should be fine and uh, these are the standard dimension and based on that what are the dimensions how we are going to create these three that we are going to create at the time of application profile before creating the HF application that we need to create them. ICP and value dimension. These dimensions are system defined dimensions that we need to create them. That we are not going to create them actually. Sorry. These are the system defined dimensions. When you do some properties enable system automatically gets created them automatically. So that's what we are calling them as system defined numbers. Apart from that we have three more dimensions which will be playing uh, main uh, a uh, big role in our HFM metadata so entity and account dimension the consolidation will be triggered in a entity dimension account dimension in the sense for which we are doing the consolidation that is nothing but financial data accounting data so for accounting data only that you are doing the consolidation at entity level but apart from that we have some custom dimensions why we are using the custom dimensions Custom dimensions are always here we need to remember one point is custom dimension is always should be associated with your account dimension only. So when you say account dimension it should be associated with your account dimension only. So without I mean if you are not using them you can keep it as simply non-members. None members. Otherwise, if you are using this custom dimension, it has to be associated with your account dimension. Say a li little bit simple example, I will tell you. I am not using any custom dimensions. If I can say sales $500, it could be the only sales value. But my requirement is I want to see my data at customer level. I want to see my data product level. I want to see my data at channel level. This is the information that I required and I need to bifurcate all the information into various modes. At that moment we need to use the custom dimension. Simply what I am saying is here if you want to see the detailed information you can go forward for the custom dimensions. Say for example you need to define your custom dimension hierarchy as customers. customer and you can define the hierarchy structure as customer 1 customer 2 like this you can create the customers in custom 2 
यू कैन क्रिएट द प्रोडक्ट्स हायर आर की हायर की स्ट्रक्चर यूनिट टू क्रिएट एस Say for example, this is simple hierarchy that I am saying. I am using custom one, and I am using custom two dimensions. When you use the custom dimension, it's always be associated with your account dimension. That's what I am saying. And you can have the probability to give the data in your various modes like sales custom one to customer one to product one, and sales customer one to product two, sales customer two to customer. product 3 likewise we can provide the data say for example we have the probability that we can give 6 into 6 36 variations that you can give the data right the probability of data input for these members is 36 times so you can able to give the data customer 1 customer 2 customer 3 and everything you can provide the data likewise and when you want to see the data in detail way you can see the data at detail level and if you want to see the customized I mean total summarized information then you can use top level members like sales customer and product and you can able to see the at top level you can able to see top level data which you have data which you have loaded at base level so this is the information that you are passing that you are loading from your source system sales customer one product one sales customer two product one likewise you are loading that you have a chance to load the data in detail and if you want to see by for mean consolidated data or accumulated data you can able to see at top level when you select the top level members so the basic intention of the custom dimensions is whenever you want to see any detailed information bifurcated information that you can achieve that requirement that calculations or whatever the things you can achieve by using the custom dimensions only these members you need to remember always should be associated with your account dimension only simply i can say whenever you can say any account dimension you need to check whether that account member is having any custom combinations are not if it is having the custom combinations then you need to tell that member should be calling with your a custom combination only okay up to here any queries ajay anusha edna mean like any queries right now uh, no shrinivas we are good Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Any queries right now? Ah uh, no, as of now uh, nothing. Shrinivas, you can proceed. Are you able to hear me? Yes, we are able to hear you. okay right now just i am moving on to how to create the application profile and how to create the application that we can see till now just we, ha we have seen the background of the application and uh, what are the dimensions and what are the functionalities of the dimension members and the dimensions why we are using them in hfm 
so this is about total we can call the mass metadata concept so these all dimensions that we can call the mass metadata so we can see this part in metadata session and we can see each and every dimension properties that we can see here uh, later once we created the hfm application one minute i guess Okay, uh, now I am going to create the application profile. So now I am working, I mean like it's a new version 11.1.2.3 that I have the version. So you can see how to create the application profile first. So you need to take the thick client. I mean here the concept is thick client means web or windows client that we need to take up and financial management navigation and take the thick client. Otherwise, you can directly run from the run prompt and click on HFM. Directly, you will have the for oh, this Windows client. Here, the concept is here we have only manage metadata, define application. Two options are there. In old version, we will have a lot of uh, um, icons in the left hand panels. Everything has been removed and moved into uh, I mean like a website only. Here right now we have only two dimension members, uh, sorry, two properties only we have in the client. Here we can use this up, different application profile and we can create the, uh, we can create the different application profile. So by using this application profile, create uh, total your year, period and view dimensions information. So create new application profile and here you need to tell about the languages. So here languages in the sense how many languages that your application going to be supported in a sense here we can establish total 10 languages and along with that you need to install the language libraries in the system at server level. So you can use uh, language libraries and need to be installed in the server level so that you can able to manage the main languages. So here English I am taking and here the thing is you need to find out which calendar that you want to use if you are using the standard calendar it will be having total 12 periods which is having our calendar when you go for the custom calendar I mean by, by using the standard calendar you can't add any more period by using the standard calendar if I say for example in 12 periods apart from that I have I would need one more period that to be adjusted but we can't do that in standard calendar but basically uh, we can have this calendar only in uh, all applications also as I have seen but if you want to go for weekly data or customized period that you require you can go for the custom calendar manual defined calendar means you need to define by your own calendar by manual defined calendars first let us see standard calendar standard calendar information is having half years, quarters, trimester and months. Half year we know, six months, quarters we know, three months, trimester in the sense four months equals to one trimester and months. So I would like to go with half years or quarters. Otherwise just go with include quarters. That means you are maintaining your periods hierarchy like quarters and months only. And you need to tell which starting period that you are going to be starting your business. That is January that I am saying. And which period that you are going to start your HFM application 2015 and I would require only five years okay so click on next and you can able to see the view dimension this is nothing but your total frequencies are nothing but your view dimension based on the selection of your standard calendar quarters and months your view dimension has been created but apart from these two mid quarters and months we have one more frequency is having that is year to date year to date is the frequency which is defaulted one 
and this is the defaulted in HFO application. So yet without having year to date we can't move forward. So whatever the selection that you do in standard standard calendar, those members have been created in the frequency. Frequency is nothing but view dimension. We have total six frequencies. And if you would like to give any descriptive information to that members, you can give the descriptive information year to date. Okay. So next one is you when you click on the next, you are period hierarchy has been created based on the selection that you did in standard calendar include quarters and include months so here the hierarchy has been created but my end users want to see my data or members only three characters that you need to change the label names according to the requirement how they would require quarter one and January just they would require only three characters then you can give it like this so by using this uh, uh, period dimension you can change the label names later on simply here itself in latest version you need to define your custom dimensions at the time of creating the application profile only say for example what we discussed in previous whether you would go for uh, product information customer information channel information that you need to define in uh, application profile saying that product custom dimension saying here itself customer information that you need to define here itself and you need to tell whether the size of the dimension whether it is small dimension or medium or large that you need to define so you need to define like this then only you need to save this application profile so you can save this application profile into anywhere your desktop or anywhere your server also and I am giving here itself sample profile to and your extension would be dot PR if it is having the dot PR means it's the application profile okay so can give the application profile and you need to create the profile itself only okay now you can able to see one more concept like custom calendar if you would like to go with the custom calendar then what we have to do is you need to give some information like here number of base periods that you require 13 periods or 12 periods or 15 periods how many periods that we require and what is the prefix for this but most of the cases we are not going to use them but just uh, would need to know the functionality so year to date is the default one period is period to date information and you are able to see the total as a flight hierarchy but I would like to go with the I mean uh, children level or something like that then you need to create the children for that by using this ellipse buttons but I am not going to use this in real times but if the functionality or requirement is has come like this you need to use this custom calendar and manual defined calendar how you are going to define the manual defined calendar so here I am not taking manual defined calendar when you go for the manual defined calendar manual defined calendar you are not going to select any standard calendar and custom calendar just I am going with manual defined calendar when you go with that the frequencies has not been created when you want to move step forward it is not allowing to you because of you need to give the default uh, view dimension as year to date then you need to move forward and here itself everything is blank then you need to define your uh, parent and child relationship of the year period mean period dimension that you need to define by using here itself only that you need to change the label names and everything so here the concept is by using this application profile from the windows client 
that you need to define your languages and year, period and view dimensions that you defined in your application profile. This is the prerequisite to create the HFM applications. Once you are okay with that, then only you can step forward and to create the HFM applications. Now I am going to take one of the metadata so here I'm going to take the stat application and create the application for this stat because of in if you want to go and do the practice here we have some sample applications around four sample applications that we have I will show you the path So here you can take the sample uh, applications, we have uh, around uh, four sample applications, you can take one of them. Because of here they had given four dimensions in the sense, in previous versions it was only supported for custom dimensions, now it supports its under custom dimensions, that's what say it, they had given four custom dimensions and seven custom dimensions, four custom dimensions, and three custom dimensions, four custom dimensions, seven custom dimensions. So you need to use these sample applications and we can do the practice on this. So I have taken seven sample standard dimensions of the I mean seven custom dimensions of the application of stat and going to work on this one to create the application. So navigations to open the workspace here the concepts which I mean who doesn't know about the workspace and shared services. So here workspace is the area where we can work for the HFM application and shared services is the part where we can see the total about security part. First I am going with I mean, uh, workspace. In previous we have in old version we have two URLs to create to open up the shared services and workspace. Now I mean two, uh, two URLs been integrated and you can able to open the shared services also from workspace itself only. So here itself navigating to open the workspace is APM system workspace workspace URL. to navigate to create the HFM application. Navigate administer consolidation administration. So here you need to see the things and by seeing here itself only you can create the HF application. So go to applications, click on application once you come to the consolidation administration, click on applications and go to actions, new, it's creating, we are going to create the new application over here and select the cluster, I mean where you want to reside your HF application. This information we need to get it from 
uh, infra side otherwise you don't require directly it will show you the cluster select the cluster from the window and give the name of the application that I am giving April HFM April HFM and at this moment you need to have the application profile that's what we created the application profile at first and now you need to select the application profile so I am taking the application profile here So select the application profile and next part is user management project. What is meant by user management project? Here we need to know another point is shared services because somebody knows about it whenever you are creating any HFM application, any application not only HFM as based planning any application it has to be associated with your shared services. The part, point is whenever you are creating any application that application need to be associated with your shared services. So here the thing is shared services need to be associated with your HF application. I will show you this part and application type. From level 1, 2, 3 onwards we have the application as tax provisioning also along with your consolidation application. You want to go with consolidation application or tax provisioning. Just I would like to go with consolidation application and create the application. your application has been created. Now you need to register the application as well. Right click on this one and register the application and it will be asking about your user management project and your cluster. Select them and register the application on the same path. So your application has been created and by tomorrow may like once your application is ready and you can navigate the application from here consolidation the navigate to open up the application is from this window navigate applications consolidation and we have created the April HFM April HFM that you can click on this one you are directly navigating into your HFM application so by tomorrow we can see uh, the next step your application profile is ready and your application is ready but it doesn't have any metadata metadata what is mean by metadata in a sense the total dimension members that we need to create all of the dimensions it means like total how many dimensions that we have total dimension that we need to create the member selections and everything so we can see the properties of the member dimension mean, uh, uh, dimensions and everything later on we can load that metadata into HFM application. So unless until I mean we, we don't have any uh, metadata in this application we can't create and we can't do any transaction or any operation in HFM application. It's a blank HFM application which doesn't have any information about your uh, dimensions metadata. But here we can cover we can have three dimensions because of application profile carrying the three dimension members one is year period and view dimensions 
we can have only three dimension members here itself but we don't have the rest of the dimensions which will be having in your metadata so we need to create the metadata file and you need to load that metadata into hfm application thereafter only you can start your data loadings and other activities so when you want to create any form or grid here it will be saying the issue mean like initializing the pov data pov in the sense point of view so metadata need to be loaded okay so any queries right now any queries or anything else hello i am not able to hear you that's what uh, hello Okay, can we meet by tomorrow? I mean, uh, can we have a session?